The, uh, the prefixes argument is a pretty flexible option in that uh, you can see that if I leave it blank, I get a consolidation of all companies, all prefixes. Um, even if some of those entities have periods that end at on, in different months, so you know perhaps company 10, the current period ends May uh, May 31st, and company 22, the current period maybe is ending April 30th, and that's fine. Uh, it knows to roll back one period for 10 and zero periods for company 22 if I'm asking for April. So it navigates that correctly. Um, but the main point here is that blank is going to consolidate all of your companies. You can also pass in a single prefix. And when I say pass in, you know, that, that can either be a literal, like hard-coded value you put in the actual formula, like double quote, double quote for blank, or it could just be a reference to a cell containing the prefix you want. When I say single prefix, you know, that might just be a cell reference, like I did earlier, to a cell that contains the prefix that I want. Um, it can also be a range of cells. And this is, this is a pretty cool option in that, um, and I'm going to actually go back and, and show this here in just one second, in that if you have um, a set of prefixes that you want to consolidate, um, just designate a place on the worksheet to, to contain that list. And then when you go to supply the, the value for this argument, it would be something like, you know, A1 colon A10 for those 10 cells, the range of cells. And it'll, it'll read the value from every cell in that range. And any that are, that are not blank would be considered a prefix that we're going to consolidate. And again, I'll, I'll come back to that here in just a second. And also use a prefix map uh, that uses wildcards. Um, so there are a couple things that I'll, I'll kind of jump out here for a second from the PowerPoint and and show. Um, one is everyone should be kind of familiar with, with how to get to our knowledge base. So if you just go to the Event One software website and then just back on KB or click the knowledge base link over on the right, uh, that gets you into the knowledge base. And then you can search on any term. I think MAST actually gets us there. Um, maybe not. I'm sure to look this up earlier. A little more information than I was after. So uh, I apologize. I should have had I should have had that uh, link identified earlier. But there is actually a knowledge base article, once I'm able to find it, um, that explains what the wild cards are. Uh, I'll just jump back to Excel here, and, and we'll cover that. Base is pretty easy, though. Uh, so if, if I put in a wild card of like uh, 2 and a percent, that just means any prefix that starts with 2. So in this case, I know I have prefixes uh, 20, 21, and 22. So I'm going to get all three of those prefixes uh, consolidated. Um, don't make this mistake, though. I put this in earlier when I was kind of stepping through this. That's not the same because that's a number. That's that's two percent or 0 0.02, and you know, in terms of of um, how it's stored. So just keep in mind that for for something like that, you probably want to make sure to format the cell as text so that whatever you type in there is not misconstrued as a as a number. And that way you get what, what, you're, what you're thinking you're going to get. Um, if we had more than one uh, prefix being used, then you would just follow the same kind of logic. So if I was, if I would say, uh, wanting to pull in company 10 and any prefix B, it might look like that. Or any prefix B starting with one at the beginning. You can also use underscores. So, you know, starting with one, any character and ending in zero. You know, so underscore is a single character placeholder if you're not aware of that. So that's how the prefix mask can be used. It's just simply identifying a set of prefixes that we want to consolidate. Um, to uh, to expand on that, on that idea that I was mentioning earlier of, say, 
coming up with a range of cells where we have maybe 21, 22, 50. With a list of prefixes that, might, that I might want to consolidate. Um, so in my function, the first argument, I can simply make that a range of cells. Okay, and that does a, a consolidation of, of all the prefixes in that in that list. Um, there's, there's, there's another option which. Um, Maybe something that's of use uh, in some cases, and that is that um, there's, there's a helper function uh, you'll see in the function selector. And I'll just kind of go down here to the bottom and show an example of it. I bring up the function selector. There's this uh, function called OC list. And the idea is that it, it does something similar. So I can say, select a range of cells. And what it returns is this formatted text value with all of the prefixes in close and single quotes and separate by commas. And that type of value is also acceptable as the first argument in this function for the list of prefixes. So I could just simply reference that, and that would work just as well. So you have a few options there in terms of how you can specify the, the, the set of prefixes. Um, beyond that, it's just limited by your creativity. So however you want to organize things and utilize that set of options to get whatever prefixes or set of prefixes you want.